I recorded the Elgar, it was in 85 I recorded it. Um, and I suppose at that time I'd have been 34. And actually it seemed quite a long time in coming. I'd been asked to record it before, but you know, a fundamental thing that I've always believed is there has to be some reason for recording because there are so many, um, particularly of standard works, so many versions. Uh, and of course, they've just grown more and more and more. And I felt that, you know, there were great recordings of the Elgar already out there, maybe not nothing like as many as now, but there were great recordings, notably, of course, the Jacqueline Dupre with not only John Barbarolli, but the live one with, with Baron Boym. Um, and it was always against that that a young British cellist in particular would be compared. And, and I, the reason in the end I decided to do it was really because uh, we had secured Yehudi Menuhin as the conductor, who of course had worked with Elgar himself all those years ago on the violin concerto. And I felt that that gave the um, recording a certain something that it might otherwise not have had. And I can tell you, I had a massive battle to um, get Phillips to agree to use Yehudi as the conductor. And, and extraordinary names of very young uh, conductors were suggested to me, who, I mean, in my view, they may have been very fashionable at the time, but they didn't have, obviously, that connection with Elgar himself that Yehudi had. And I, I just really held out for that. Having Yehudi as conductor gave me the confidence to record it. I also felt that my view of the concerto was very different to Jackie's. Um, I mean, her view is extremely personal, a wonderful recording, of course, but um, I felt my view was very different. So there was no question of me sort of trying to 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 really sort of copy that or or even reference it very much. I wanted to create something new. <laughs> 